sister of ice and snow, I'm coming to you from the land of my ancestors, from atolls, sunken volcanoes, undersea descent of sleeping giants. Sister of ocean and sand, I welcome you to the land of my ancestors, to the land where they sacrificed their lives to make mine possible, to the land of survivors. I'm coming to you from the land my ancestors chose. Ailankainan, Marshall Islands, a country more sea than land. I welcome you to Kadashitnunan, Greenland, the biggest island on earth. With me I bring these shells that I picked from the shores of Beginni Atoll and Brunid Dome. In my hand I hold these rocks picked from the shores of Nuuk, the foundation of the land I call my home. With these shells I bring with me a story of long ago. Two sisters frozen in time on the island of Wuyai. One magically turned to stone. The other who chose that life to be rooted by her sister's side. To this day, the two sisters can be seen by the edge of the reef. A lesson in permanence. With these rocks I bring a story told countless times. A story about Sisuma Amna, mother of the sea, who lives in a cave at the bottom of the ocean. This is a story about the guardian of the sea. She sees the greed in our hearts, the disrespect in our eyes. Every whale, every stream, every iceberg are her children. When we disrespect them, she gives us what we deserve, a lesson in respect. Do we deserve the melting ice, the hungry polar bears coming to our islands, or the colossal icebergs hitting these waters with rage? From one island to another, I ask for solutions. From one island to another, I ask for your problems. Let me show you the tide, coming for us faster than we'd like to admit. Let me show you airports underwater, bulldozed reefs, blasted sands, and plans to build new atolls, forcing land from an ancient rising sea, forcing us to imagine turning ourselves to stone. Can you see a glacier's grown the weight of the world's heat? I wait for you, here on the land of my ancestors, heart heavy with a continuous thirst for solutions. As I watch this land change while the world remains silent. Sister of ice and snow, I come to you now in grief. Mourning landscapes that are always forced to change. First through wars inflicted on us. Then through nuclear waste dumped in our waters. On our ice. And now, this. Sister of ocean and sand, I offer you these rocks, the foundation of my home. May the same unshakable foundation connect us, make us stronger than these colonizing monsters that still to this day devour our lives. The very same beasts that now decide who should live, who should die. Sister of ice and snow, I offer you these shells and the story of the two sisters as testament, as decoration, that despite what we are told, we will not leave. We will choose stone. We will choose to be rooted to this reef forever. We ask for solutions. From these islands, we ask, we demand that the world see beyond ACs, SUVs, their pre-packaged convenience, their oil slick dreams. Beyond the belief that tomorrow will never happen, that this is merely an inconvenient truth. Let me bring my home to yours. Let's watch as Miami, New York, Shanghai, Amsterdam, London, Rio de Janeiro, and Osaka try to breathe underwater. You think you have decades before your home fall beneath tides? We have years, we have months before you sacrifice us again, before you watch from your TV screens and computer screens to see if we will still be breathing while you do nothing. My sister, I offer you these rocks 
as a reminder that our lives matter more than their power. That life in all forms demands the same respect we all give to money. That these issues will affect each and every one of us. None of us is immune. And that each and every one of us has to decide if we will rise. Ku si so. 